Okay, so today we're going to be looking at uh, liver pathology uh, related to alcohol. Uh, alcohol uh, liver pathologies. Um, before we begin, we're going to take a quick look at uh, histology uh, to kind of see where alcohol has a majority of its effects. So the histology liver, um, uh, the liver looks like a hexagon, right? Where's that hexagon? So it looks like a hexagon, um, and we have the portal triads here, and we have the central vein in the middle. Now it can be divided into three zones. Um, you can divide the outside area to zone number one, and then the inner area is going to be zone number three. And then the, this, uh, the middle area is zone number two. Now, in zone number one is closest to the blood flow because this is where the blood, this is the side that the blood is coming from. And so generally, um, viral hepatitis will affect these, uh, the cells in this area the most. Now, zone number three is farthest away. So by the time the blood comes out here, uh, it's been used up as far as oxygen. So zone number three is affected in times of ischemia. The other thing is it has a high number of cytochrome P450, so any type of toxins which you know get created by uh, cytochrome P450 is going to be increased in this area, and of course uh, the most popular one is acetaminophen. Now the one related to this topic is alcoholic damage uh, tends to occur over here as well. So um, this is our basic uh, setup here. Now the next thing that we need to look at is going to be uh, serum markers. Now we have primarily two types of serum markers uh, related here. Um, there's going to be the AST and the ALT. AST is aspartate transaminase and ALT is alanine transaminase. Um, AST is, um, is more of a systemic, if you think about it, and ALT is primarily the liver. So ALT kind of focuses more on the liver. So now anytime you have viral hepatitis, Viral hepatitis primarily affects the liver, so you will have an ALT which is greater than the AST. Now, as we know, alcohol has effects on other parts of the body as much as it does the liver as well. So whenever you have alcoholic problems, the AST is greater than the ALT. And a good mnemonic for this is wasted. So someone who's you know drunk is just completely wasted. Um, so that's a good way to memorize that. Now, um, let's first talk about the first pathology, which is uh, steatosis. Steatosis is the initial uh, effect of um, alcohol drinking, uh, even when you drink moderate amounts, and it's, it's fairly reversible. Uh, what happens is when you drink alcohol, uh, this is going to increase the level of alcohol. Uh, dehydrogenase and acetaldehyde dehydrogenase or acetate dehydrogenase. D this will increase the amount of NADH that you have. Now, if you increase the amount of NADH that you have, it starts to shunt towards lipid synthesis. So your body favors lipid synthesis when there's increased NADH and also it's going to uh, decrease uh, excretion of lipid from the liver and it's going to decrease in uh, peripheral uh, fat metabolism. So you're going to have an accumulation all throughout the body. Uh, so what does that mean? Um, in small amounts, so if you, if you drink a small amount, uh, you can get like little micro vesicles, little droplets in the hepatocyte. And if you drink large amounts, this is going to lead to macro vesicles. Uh, and what this will do is this is going to push uh, the nucleus out to the periphery and so you're going to get uh, a type of fatty liver. So that's going to be steatosis again, reversible, minor amounts. Then eventually this can lead to hepatitis. You can get an alcoholic hepatitis. And this is with continued drinking. Now. Um, what are all the problems that uh, can develop? 
Well, one of the things that you will see usually is called the Mallory body. So we have Mallory bodies. Um, we can also, uh, you tend to get some oxidative damage. And um, there's going to be some malnutrition associated with this. Malnutrition. And you're going to get even some inflammation, an inflammatory reaction. So let's go into each one and see uh, what are the processes that cause this. Okay, Malic bodies are formed um, because when you get the acetaldehyde, that's obviously increased because of um, alcohol, um, acetaldehyde does cause lipid peroxidation. Okay, and then this will cause um, damage to the cytoskeleton. And so what happens is it then turns into a Mallory body, and that's what we see under the microscope. Um, as far as the oxidative stress, um, what we're doing is we're increasing cytochrome P450, and this is a majority of where, where it comes from. And this is developing, you know, uh, radical, uh, free radicals, and that's going to start causing damage to the membrane. Um, the other one is if you increase cytochrome P450, you're also increasing the toxic metabolites. Uh, such as acetaminophen. So, you know, alcoholics who drink, take acetaminophen uh, will have more toxic damage. Um, also, we, we, we are going to be decreasing uh, methionine, which subsequently decreases glut uh, glutathione, and that's going to, of course, uh, uh, increase the oxidative damage because this is an important um, way of getting rid of, of free radicals. Uh, if we look at the uh, malnutrition, well, alcohol can damage the DIT mucosa, and so of course that's going to be decreased absorption of food and uh, all that, and also you get pancreatitis developing, and so this can make it hard to absorb some fa uh, fa uh, fat-soluble vitamins, and they tend to get thiamine deficiency. Uh, inflammation, what, t what happens is uh, endotoxin from the guts uh, go to the liver via the portal tract, so the portal system, and so then that's going to lead to accumulation of neutrophils, and over time you can lead to fibrosis. So that's what we have for um, steatosis and hepatitis. Now, what are the complications uh, that can develop? Well, with continued drinking, uh, it can eventually lead to cirrhosis, which can lead to portal hypertension, which will take on another uh, another time. It can lead to hepatocellular carcinoma. It can lead to increased infections, and of course, it can lead to a hepatic coma.